Hey guys, Triple B here. Tonight I've got something very exciting to share with you. I found a list on Twitter the other day from a user named TCG, and it's a Arceus Gudra list, but it's got the new Slowbro from Scarlet and Violet. Some big brain shenanigans there, and I'm convinced it's got the potential to shake up the meta. If you haven't seen Arceus V-Star before, it's a very powerful Pokemon. It has the attack Trinity Nova that's going to let you do 200 damage to the active Pokemon, and accelerate out three energy from your deck to one of your V Pokemon. In this case, we're accelerating it out to Gudra since Gudra's attack costs three energy, and Arceus is just perfect for setting it up. The other nice thing about Arceus is it has the ability Starbirth. It's going to let you grab any two cards from your deck that you need. If you need a double turbo energy to charge it up, maybe a switch to get in the active, just get them. Or if you'd like, just hold off on using the V Star power if you've got everything set up, and then later in the game, maybe you need a boss for game, just use that, get it, it's busted. Do have the option though of using Gujar V Star's V Star power instead, so if you don't need to use Starbirth, that's something to consider as well. Arceus V Star evolves from Arceus V though, which similar to the Trinity Nova attack has Trinity Charge. It's going to get three energy from the deck, but it's not going to do any damage, so a little bit um, less impressive. But if you're going second and happen to start with it and a double turbo energy and can get a Gujar set up immediately, that's very impressive. So you know what? I take back what I just said. To Gudra, though, it's got a very, very silly attack in Rolling Iron. It's going to do 200 damage, and during your next turn, it's going to take 80 less damage. So it's effectively just a tank. We get it set up. Most things in the meta are doing 200, 220 damage. Giratina doing 280 is a little bit scary. Other than that, though, it's pretty solid. And if we're taking 80 less from the Giratina, it's only doing 200. They need to find a way to get us on the bench using like an escape rope and then boss it back up or just gust around it. It's pretty silly. It does evolve from Gudra V. Nothing really impressive on there, though. It's pretty rare you're going to be using the Gudra V to attack. Just evolve up to the V-Star as soon as you can. But the nice thing about the V-Star taking less damage and then with the slow bro we mentioned earlier, it's got the ability Strange Behavior, which lets us move as many damage counters as we want from our other Pokemon to this Pokemon. It only has 100 health, so if you put 10, it will get knocked out, and that's as many as you can put on it. But we're going to be able to get multiple in play. We've got three in the deck, and with Radiant Serena, we can use Elegant Heal to heal 20 damage off each of our Pokemon. So let's say we have three Slowbro in play. Maybe Gudra took 80 damage. We put two damage counters on each of those Slowbro, and then use Serena's ability. All of a sudden, there's no damage in play. That's really nice. Or maybe Gudra took 200 damage and we have two Slowbro in play. Move 90 to both of those Slowbro and then just use Serena. Heal it off. All of a sudden they're down to 70 and that Gudra's also been healed. Very nice. Or once those Slowbros are healed, we move any remaining damage counters on the Gudra back onto those Slowbro and we just kind of keep going. It's pretty silly and has some very good shenanigans we can be using. The other nice thing is maybe you need bench space. We can be knocking out the slow bros. It does give up a prize to our opponent. There's situations where that can be a good thing since we're going to be running the slow bro from Pokemon Go and once our opponent's down to one prize remaining, if we put a double turbo energy on this, we can use its attack and just take the last two prizes for game. We're not going to be able to one shot a lot of things with Gudra or Arceus. So just being able to cheekily do this if we need, it's a pretty good option to have in the deck as well. Other things we are including for Pokemon though, we've got Pump Goo Boo, since Path to the Peak can shut down our deck, it's good to be able to have a way to counter it. We're going to be running a copy of Path to the Peak ourselves though, so once we get our abilities used, it's something we can use. Do keep in mind though, it's going to turn off the Radiant Serena, so be mindful of that when you're considering using it. We've also got Luminion V, so that we can search out supporter cards when we need them, since we're going to be running things like Adventurer's Discovery to be able to search out our Arceus pieces and our Guja pieces, it's great to be able to grab that in a pinch or if we need gust for game. And since we are running water energy and double turbo energy, we can technically attack with the Luminion as well using Aqua Return to do 100 damage to something, bounce it into the deck. Up against single prize decks, it can be helpful. Typically though, you're going to be using Gudra. Up against things like Lost Box, where they're only doing like 110 damage with a Cramorant, they're only doing 30 damage with a Cramorant if Gudra attacks, and then we just heal it off with Serena. It's kind of a moot point. For the trainer cards though, we did mention we've got Adventurer's Discovery. The other key supporters we're running are Clara, so we can be getting back our pieces as things are getting knocked out. Maybe we need additional slow bros, just get them back. Maybe we ditched Luminion early and we want it for Gust later in the game. We can be getting that back as well. For draw support, pretty standard though. We've got Professor's Research and Judge. 
as well as Serena's just to be able to pivot between draw and gust and then boss's orders for the gust as well. Other than that, the list is pretty standard. Ultra balls, nest balls, switch, escape rope, and then for the energy, we are running four double turbo energy, four water, and four steel. So pretty straightforward there. Just get our guys going as quickly as possible, do some decent damage, and don't let our opponent hurt us. And when they do, we just go, nah, that's okay. I don't want those damage counters. Let's just get them off the board pretty silly if you like the deck list make sure to hit that thumbs up button let me know and subscribe so you can keep up with shenanigans like this but let's jump on ladder and see how we go off this tonight do you think candy is a necessity for guardy it's i don't know personally i like it i see it as a valuable inclusion in the list i don't see it as a high count though like one or two honestly is kind of all you need because when you get into it, it's you either need to get into it ASAP to start setting up attackers and take swing games. Did we start? What, what is this hand? Also, why did I? Oh, I just shouldn't have put two RCS down. That was really dumb. I just click, I clicked all the buttons. That's stupid. Don't do that. Think before you just put stuff down. Don't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> or I do learn from other mistakes. I mean, don't do that. You're doing good? How have your game's been going? How's this deck playing for you? The deck is playing pretty well. I'm- oh. What is going on with Frost? This is nuts. The deck's going well. I'm still kind of figuring it out. Um, I saw someone post a list on Twitter and it's like, this is spicy. I want to try this. And yeah, it's been pretty spicy. Um, a lot of thought process to the plays because like you can do some pretty sneaky stuff with the slow bro. Being able to move damage counters to it and then heal it off with Serena, value, but also being able to move the damage counters onto it and knock it out to just put something either out of range of knockout or get your, them down to one prize remaining to then use the other slow bro to take two prizes when you're not able to kill stuff since we're two-shotting things. Like, there's nothing that we can finish off for two prizes. We just use slow bro. All right. All right. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What kind of decks do you typically play? Uh, Charles, you haven't lost with Guardi Union yet. Uh, also, still in Pikachu tier. Don't play that many games. Fair. That's fair. That's kind of an issue I'm seeing too. Like, I haven't grinded out the ladder enough. It's so, like I'm seeing people either running like the decks they get for free. Like, here, we're, we're seeing Single Strike Lugia. So, this will be an interesting matchup. What do I even do here? I'm kind of thinking we just go adventure as we get the Gudra. Really wish I didn't bench two Arceus like I did. Like a Goomba. Yeah, we bench the Gudra. We do this. Which I guess we have to do for an energy. Bit odd. But it's like we go energy path. Or energy draw supporter. Or energy panty. I'm kind of liking the idea of energy panty. And then put two Gujas in play. If I put another Gujra in play, the Arceus is likely gonna get knocked out by that anyway, so don't see us getting the energy out. Or a second Gujra. We don't need to rush. We can wait wait until we have bench space. Why did I bench this though? Stupid. Stupid stupid. <laughs> You don't have Slowbro on your <laughs> Slowbro is pretty spicy. He's pretty spicy. You had a long break to the game, just came back with Lost Box, and you're addicted to it. Nice. Lost Box is solid. There's so many options with it, too. I love it. So many. Do you run it with, like, are you doing Radiant Zard build? Or are you doing the, um, like, Galarian Zapdos, Raikou, Drapion, Sky Seal build? Or just, like, straight up? Or Giratina? Oh, you're using DT? Yeah, there's a DT on there. The Lugia was out of range. The Tina build, nice. Tina's good. I like Tina.
All right, we're in some danger. Probably should have grabbed path. Remember when you streamed in the past? Oh, Chloe, did you used to stream it too? That's cool. Do you stream PTCGO? We're in a bit of danger here. See, if we went for path, it would have stopped them from the Luminian play. It would have stopped them from the Lugia. And then at least force them to have to find a way to get into like Pumpkaboo or something like that. Off this though, we kill that. It's got gift energy. They get to draw one card. That's fine. We're getting the Arceus off the bench at the very least. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Safety. <laughs> Put another slowpoke down. Serena or slow bro? I'm kind of leaning towards Serena. Although if we go slow bro, then it's like, hey, I can at least move these damage counters that I'm about to take off, but Serena I can move some off. Yeah, we, we'll go Serena. We'll go Serena. I should have gone slow, bro. If I go slow, bro, I still have a bench base. I could Luminian, potentially. Ah, oh, we found a slow, bro, anyways. Oh, we would have had three slow bros. Those bros would have been so slow. You do stream. Did a lot of shiny hunting in the break from TCG. Uh, but now you're going to be swinging back into streaming TCG more often. That's epic. I'll have to check it out. Um, and yeah, we'll go. So at the moment, are you streaming... Like the VGC? Like Scarlet and Violet? and punches us in the face and that's kind of fine because we just go slow bro slow bro heal 60 this one does get knocked out though right they're doing 220 on the dot yeah benching that other kudra a little bit of a liability but it would have been good to be able to get a second one set up yeah you're shiny hunting in violet the last two streams or tcg one before easter you got hooked and played it all weekend though nice Nice, that's epic. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I just gave you a follow. I'll try and check it out. I'm based in Australia, though. So, like, if you're on normally around this time, I should be able to. Um, but, yeah, if you're in, like, North America or Europe, it's a little bit tricky for time. You're Aussie too! Nice! That's epic! Okay, well we get two slow bro out at least. We'll go adventurers just to thin. I really don't want to have to use this Luminian to be honest. Because as soon as we do it gives them an easy target. But if we can use it in a situation where it gets us game then it's fine. Benching that other Gudra though is likely a mistake. Because like we kind of just get it to the point where it's like this Gudra is just our tank and roll with it. Got some gust though. So if this can tank a hit, 
Move them to the slow row. Heal off a good chunk of it. Serena up the Luminion. And then for game, we just play our Luminion, get boss, boss kill on Archeops. Should be good. What kind of numbers can he do? 240, if they get four single strike on it, 320. We currently have 350. So if they have a choice belt, definitely some danger. If we can get into another slow bro though, that'd be handy. That'd be very handy. That's not the one I meant. <laughs> do they not have enough for the attack? What do they just do? Why the what? This card, the top four cards of your deck. Oh no, it did. It just didn't make a sound effect, or what happened there? That was weird. Uh, yeah, we'll go strange behavior. We'll just move ninety onto each. So Gudra is fully healed. I guess we could move 70. Gudra gets some healing off of the Serena anyways. Yeah, we'll just do 70. Boss game? Yeah? Yeah, we go for the boss play. Although we could... Like, we could research in hopes of trying to get into the choice belt. Is it in here? It is in there. Oh, that's risky though. No, that's that's too risky. Plus they've got DTE on there anyways, so even with the choice belt we're outside of range. We have no fear of the Tyranitar. We do need to get into a gust option though for game still. Which I guess theoretically then it's hey, we got the gut gust kill on the Luminian. Now we can try and do the dig for the choice belt. They're ditching a lot of their own deck though. We find another slow bro. Can do this all day, man. Didn't find the choice belt. But I believe we should have enough to fully heal this again. Right, because this takes 90. We theoretically could even just like kill one of these and take four if we want. This takes four, the other one takes two. There's three left on that. Just do some quick math. Make sure I'm still outside of range. Move damage counters from your other... Yeah, from this guy. Although if we knock out one of these... He's only got two prizes left, so that does put us in the danger zone. Although... No, we do this. We heal and then we move the last count. Smart. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm missing a step here. Yeah, we heal them and then we can move more. Oh, uh, this is a silly deck. I love it. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hitting that thumbs up button's a great way to let me know. And subscribing's a great way to know when new content like this is coming out. If you want to see some more games with this, though, there should be a video popping up here. I did make a second channel that'll be featuring more gameplay. So if you're into that, I got you covered. And if you're after another deck list, there should be something popping up here. Till next time, though. Take care of yourself.